Hey everybody, today I'm making hamburger and sausage casserole. I got that bad boy encased in that cornbread. We're going to start with our hamburger meat, our ground Italian sausage. Put your veggies in there and that's just chopped onions and bell peppers. Chop all that up, mix it well. Then add in your Italian herbs. Put in some parsley guys. Put in parsley, oregano and some basil. Get it all mixed up so it can cook evenly. When it's almost done, Put in a little garlic, a couple cloves is good enough. Once it's done, you want to drain that in your strainer, but use the over little foil so you can have that as an easy cleanup. Now you want to put it, put it back in your pan and add your seasoning, salt, and pepper. Now I put in onions, of course, and garlic, but I'm going to put in onion powder and garlic powder. That is just me. I like to put that. I want my food seasoned up well. So now I'm going on to my other veggies. I'm going to put in a can of sliced stewed tomatoes. I did cut them up a little more, but that's what I have there. And some green beans, some cut green beans. I'm looking in here for stems. They have stems right in the can, y'all. So look for that. Take them out. Get you a can of whole kernel sweet corn and some sliced carrots. Now all these cans have been drained. Of course, definitely drain them. But always check your carrots because they have the worst pieces sometime in those cans. This is just a jar of my favorite pasta sauce. Now, you can use whatever you want to use and stir it all up. Now, I'm just stirring in vain, y'all, because look, you know that is not enough sauce. I'm putting in another jar, but I figured let me put half. You know, you can't take it out if you put it in. So, you add in a little as you go. And then you taste it around this time. And, of course, I taste it. I said, you know what? A little more seasons in here. A little seasoned salt and pepper and the rest of that second jar of sauce. Put that in there. Now, this is just my basil that was left in my little container. I said, now, you know, I'm not putting this back on the shelf. So, I mixed that in, too. I stirred it up. It's going to simmer now, guys, for like 15 minutes. Move right along to your cornbread while that's simmering. This is four boxes of Jiffy Mix. I love Jiffy. So, I put my milk in there, my eggs, a little oil. And I also, of course, had to put more milk because, you know, I got to make sure it's nice and creamy. Once I did that, I'm going to put in some sour cream. A lot of people don't put sour cream. Sour cream adds a definite amount of fat and moisture to your um, baked goods, even cornbread. I mean, put it in the cornbread. I'm telling you, it's delicious. And we're going to move right along and grate this mild cheddar cheese. Of course, you don't have to just grate it. You can just get it from the store shredded. But then we're going to move right along. Now, this pan, guys, is a 9 by 13. It's a big pan. It's deep. But I put half of the cornbread in here. And then I put in some of my cheddar to spread it around. Put as much as or little as you like. It's your it's your dish. Do what you want to do with it. Now, I just took that top off. And I'm telling y'all, this, this meat smells so good in here. You can just stand here and eat this meat like this here. But we're we not going to eat that meat like this. We're going to put it over in here on the, in this pan. We're going to fill that pan up. We're going to put all the meat that we can, that we can put over there. Smooth it out. Then you're going to put your sliced American cheese. You want to cover that all the way up. Then you're going to take the rest, the other half of that cornbread, and pour it over this mixture. Now, all that stuff is about to be covered up. Cover it up. Put it on the sides. Do what you got to do. Bake it. And when you come out the stove, guys, it'll look like a, just a pan of cornbread until you get to cutting off in here. And then you're going to see everything. Look at that. That whole thing is just encased in that cornbread, that meat, cheese, those veggies. This is so good. This smells just amazing. Oh, my God. Look at that big old piece of tomato off in there. Guys, I'm telling you, you need to try this. If you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.